I'm Aubrey, and last summer I bought a pirate ship. She's a 1977 Formosa, 51 feet and a classic beauty. For me. Right now, we're Kim's moral support. Now that she's mine, her days of sitting in dry dock are over. Refitting a classic sailboat takes hard work and cash, and some would say lots of it. So we left the Pacific Northwest and completed a successful restoration of a 1996 Hunter. She sold for a healthy profit, and now there's just 3,300 miles between us and a dream come true. So we are gonna go have some dinner with friends on Cameron's boat and just chillax. I just Saying goodbye to good friends is one of the hardest parts of this lifestyle. You create a tribe of ones all moving in their own direction. There's Cameron in the background. We have joined a party on Cameron's boat. This is kind of a goodbye, a farewell for now. Cameron's gonna come and visit us, right Cameron? Of course. Yes. You'll see me again. Mm-hmm. We're back on Gadabout for the last time. Cameron has now found a buyer for the 85-foot steel catch. It's bittersweet because it's not often you find someone so gloriously nuts to solo around on this type of vessel. Both Cameron and Gadabout will be missed. Okay, darlings, we came, we saw, we ate pizza, and now we're gonna go home. And when I say home, to a land home, the Airbnb, which is weird. It's weird to get to be the people on the boat, leaving to go back to their land home. I love you, and I will see you tomorrow. We've just gotten the call. The mast and rigging are on the truck, off of the ship from Sweden, and we are racing against the clock to take delivery. Okay, we're putting these things in this trailer with these two lovely gentlemen. We got Cameron. Yeah, you're good though. Look at the axles, see how they're level with the fender? So you're gonna be fine. I have faith in us. I think it's going to be good. Nothing like a time crunch when attempting to pack a U-Haul for a cross-country road trip. So we've made it to Tallahassee, which is our second Airbnb. We're making pretty good time. Huh, Squirrel? Yeah. Yeah. We just ordered some Uber Eats. Atlas is already screaming and pissing off the neighbors, I'm uh, sure. Your name is not Aflac, it's Atlas. He's saying his name, kind of, but it doesn't sound like Atlas, it uh -huh. sounds like Aflac. <laughs> hey, robot chicken. Oh, who's here? Again, on the road again. Hi. Yeah, so we're gonna head to New Orleans, which ah. is where my girlfriend Leslie lives. You guys met her in season seven, I think? Anyways, we've been friends since I was 18, which has been a couple of years, so I'm really excited to go see her in her new apartment, and we have a five hour drive, so we're just gonna touch in, say hello, and we are on our way as fast as we can to make sure we are there in time to meet our rigging in Washington. Very exciting. Let's go. Searle has offered slash insisted on doing all of the 3,300 miles behind the wheel. The look on his face says it all. So I will now sit in the passenger seat and offer unsolicited commentary. We have arrived in Louisiana. We're almost New Orleans and Searle just asked me what Louisiana is all about and I said there are Cajuns and Creoles and then we had to look up what the difference was but essentially it's French people and there's French food and I think it should be fun. Are you excited Squirrel? Yeah. yeah. Visual effects. Love isn't always on time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I just said it to Searle and I have to say it in front of you guys. I'm really impressed with his driving. Like really impressed. He is driving this trailer like a badass. Oh shit. As he says, oh shit. What's wrong? I'm gonna take that pilot Please off. don't. You should get the insurance. Did I speak too soon? I okay.
the one driving, we would be apologizing to the gas station attendant right now for taking out the piling. We made it to Leslie's apartment for a quick snooze before we hit the road again. She said she needs just a little more beauty rest to be ready for YouTube. Thanks for letting us couch surf. We love you. Our drive where we should have been there four o'clock this afternoon, we are only going to be arriving at 20 to 8 at night. And we still got another 100 miles after that. So, am I pleased? No. It's not the greatest of days. What have we been like almost two hours in traffic already? Bumper to bumper, and we probably moved maybe three miles. There's bumper to bumper traffic, and we are on a time crunch. It's going fast in the other direction. It's never good to be in such a hurry and on a deadline doing a cross-country road trip we are trying to have fun i'm having fun poor sorrel's dragging this u-haul trailer think we're gonna make it in time no come on be an optimist <laughs> it's, just, it's still going later we're gonna be there like nine o'clock at night <laughs> atlas thinks that's funny atlas thinks everything's funny hello You having fun? Oh yeah. This is the epitome of fun. I have been missing my daughter Bianca like crazy. She's been visiting my brother in Austin, Texas. We are now going to swing by on our way through to pick her up. I am so excited to see her. All right, we just arrived at my brother's new place and we're gonna pick up Bianca the sun is shining it's going down it's been a long day yeah and the weed whackers are the neighbors are mowing their lawn my brother isn't <laughs> okay let's go see what they're doing I know you guys miss Bianca and don't you run away now Do we do the hi bye thing? Hi! Oh, hi sis! Oh, I love your house! Thank you, welcome. That was my child. Hi! Hi! Oh! And hi. you! Hi baby! How was your day? Oh, the dog oh. Pickle. Oh. Brisket. <laughs> Let's go. Cut. Action. Pickle, come on. I'm a good boy. For my entire life, it has been absolutely impossible for me to resist shenanigans, and a curly-haired poodle is just that, shenanigans. So meet our new mascot. We are driving through Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we found this. Eating up miles. I'm really excited to get back to the Formosa. I really, really am. They have so much to do, so little time. Boonies. And there's welcome. Yeah, come on. Come on. What? That is bullshit. Where are we there? Oh my god. That is horrific. I have no idea where we are.
What do you think? You think we can pump it back up? Yeah, we should be able to just yeah. patch it. Yeah, I think we'll patch it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna do some paperwork real fast and then I'll get it jacked up and suck it Oh my gosh. Whoa. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, it's shaking the car. Is that why there was that emergency warning? Yeah. You don't think it's enough to like... Holy fuck. Whoa. How is he gonna... Aren't you glad we're not driving right now? Where the fuck is you all moving yet? <laughs> As he puts the heat brake on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... This is so crazy. Is he's not out of the car fixing that tire right now. Whoa! Man, I feel so bad for the paint. Uh -huh. It'll buff out. No, it's not. Okay, you guys, this gentleman is going to change the tire right now. <laughs> I can't actually believe it. It's got to be blowing like 40 knots. And just like that. And now the rain. No, it's raining and blowing dust. Is this like the mud version of hail? Uh, on the road again. Well, Almost. not just yet. It's We're like a, little a few scared. feet from it. We're a little scared. I'm a little scared. I think we keep the bow into the wind. Head southeast on South Federal Way toward East Amity Road. We have just gotten in the car for our very last leg of this trip, and I am so excited to see the Formosa. I hope that we get there in time for the mass and rigging, and it's all a big surprise. So it's been um, quite a few months since we've been back to her, and we think we buttoned the boat up pretty well, but we're really hoping there's no surprises, you know, the kind of surprises you don't want when we get back. Are you excited, Squirrel? Sure. Yeah? I got to put home in as our destination now. Oh, that's exciting. Bianca, are you excited to see the boat? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Frankster. <laughs> and we made it before our masts and rigging and the boat looks amazing I she's even more beautiful than I remembered oh, I'm so happy to be back yay okay so we had uh, someone do this while we were gone which is just the back room and we have to put in the um, frames for the glass but we're gonna order new glass first and these pieces on the floor. We're gonna finish this ourselves. So yeah, it's feeling good. Bunk in my head and let the unpacking begin. We have so much unpacking to do. Woo! Um, it's crazy, it all has a place. We just have to put it all away now. Good morning. We are back on the boat, as you can tell, because of this beautiful <laughs> teak behind me. We're gonna head downstairs. We're gonna unpack the U-Haul and get our tools ready because we're gonna be pulling some chain plates soon. So the weather is gorgeous. We escaped the Florida heat and made it in time for the Washington summer. And our mast is not here yet. But the good news is, is that we will have time to pull our chain plates. So the next thing is, will we be able to get the chain plates manufactured in time for the rig to arrive? So let's get to work. Uh, I love you too. Uh, 
that guy gonna take? Woo wee! I'm so excited. I really am. I cannot describe to you the feeling of happiness to be home on this boat. This one's all settled in too. the longer and uncensored episodes of season 12 on Vimeo. And if you can't wait till next time, I've been creating a daily vlog for over three years, and there's almost 800 episodes. Well, I think this means we have officially made it. Don't spill my beer. Thank you to my patrons for helping me improve the quality of these films each season. You are the heartbeat of this channel. For the extended and uncensored version of Season 12, check the link in the description below. You just ate the penis of the Kong. I just ate the penis. No, you just